Hello everyone, and welcome to part one of how to make a point and shoot game in Unity. So to begin, let's create a new Unity project. The way you do that is you access your Unity, create new project. This is your name, this is your fi file path. So let's just select folder, name this point and shoot game. And export in a 2D project. So when you start a new Unity project, this is what you will see. It's just an empty place with nothing going around it. It is our duty as the game developer in order to create everything that's going to occur in the game. This includes the sprites, the logic, and the physics. Unity does handle some of this for us. Like there are some game objects that we can already use and Unity does have its built-in physics engine but we may or may not use them depending on whether or not we need them. So to begin, let's think of what kind of game we want to make. For this, I want a game where these blocks are being launched up from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. So when I click play, there will be these blocks flying around that I gotta click with my mouse in order to destroy them. So the first few things I'm going to need are the sprites for my blocks, the sprites for the crosshair so you can see where my mouse is, and because it wouldn't look as fun if you're just shooting by clicking on with your mouse. So the way we're going to create our sprites is opening GIMP and it'll load. So this is where it opens. You go to File, New, then choose the size in pixels and you always want to fill with transparency. Right now I want to do say 128 by 128. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is use my pencil tool, set the size of the brush to 1 because I want to do pixel perfect stuff. Now I'm going to sketch out what I want each sprite to look like. I want the crosshair to be this circular thing with these bars going across the sides. And then I want the blocks to just be these squares maybe with an outline around them to have a few different variations for the colors. So I would like to do 16 by 16 sprites or the blocks be 16 by 16. The way I do that is I click with my uh, mouse, hold the shift button to create a line and then on the bottom left to corner of the screen you'll see the distance. Now if you want the total distance you have to add one because it's going from your first going from here to whatever distance you're going from. So I'll just create my sprite now. There's our block. Just to prove that it's 16 by 16, I'll draw a box around it, and it says 16 by 16 down there. And since I want multiple variants of this block, I am going to click Control C, Control V, and place these blocks around. And how many variants do I want? I want red, blue, green, yellow, maybe a purple or violet color. So now, you use your paint bucket in order to choose a different color and just fill it with whatever other colors you like. You don't need to follow on exactly as I do. You just have to understand how I'm doing all this. Oh, and if you make a mistake, just control Z like virtually every other program on PC. And now, just about done. 
those are my different squares. Now for the crosshair. I want my crosshair to be red. And with red crosshair, I want it to be circular. The way you do circles, since you can't do perfect circles because it's pixel art, you have to sort of improvise and make it look circular from a distance, if that makes sense. So I'll just keep sketching pixel by pixel. So I'm thinking of having my crosshair look a little like this. Probably going to use a darker color of red because this is messing with my eyes a bit. Maybe a little darker. That's better. So, there are my sprites. I can delete this sketch. And I did that by dragging a box and pressing the delete key. So now I have my different sprites for the game. I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to export these into Unity. So the way you do that is you go find your Unity file in whatever folder you made it in. Point and shoot game. Go under Assets and name it. I'm just going to name this Sprites. I'm going to export it. So now if I were to go back into Unity, you see it appears here. Also, if I ever want to reuse or modify these sprites, I have to save the GIMP file that I created in. Because you can't modify PNG files, and Unity can't read GIMP files, so you always have to export them. So, you do have to do a bit of shuffling. So this is sprite, and I save it. Now if I ever need to, I can modify these sprites or add new one, new ones and export them. So now for importing these sprites on Unity's end. If I were to just click and drag them, it makes all of them appear at once, which we don't want. The way we fix this is by setting our sprite mode to multiple. And then there's this pixels per unit. This is a conversion, basically a ratio. You see all these grid lines here? You see all these grid lines here? This is one unit by one unit. And it's asking for how many pixels do we need to fill in that area. I want to do 16 pixels per unit because these sprites are 16 by 16 pixels and it just makes sense to me. So. The way I want to import these is by point filter mode, that way it's not blurry, and true color, that way it's their actual colors. And now, as you can see, I can't really click and drag anything. The way I fix this is by going to Sprite Editor, and I can click and drag boxes around each of my sprites. Another thing I can do is go into Slice and Automatic Slicing, just click the Slice button. You might want to double check to make sure it's sliced everything correctly, but everything should have their own box. And now if I were to click this, you can see each individual sprite. You can also name them to your liking, just to keep things more organized. So I'm going to name these off camera. So now, if I were to drag in each individual object into the scene, I can do that. They are no longer being treated as the same thing. So now that we have our sprites, the next thing we need to do is add logic and physics. So that's what we are going to do in the next episode. So thank you for watching and join me for the next time where we create our physics and begin working on the game logic. Goodbye.